what's up guys welcome back to my channel i haven't said this in a while but if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is lauren and if you're not new welcome back Okay, my room has such great lighting, except when it goes in and out, when it's cloudy, which is what's going on right now, so I apologize if the lighting keeps going in and out, but anyways. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you, not showing you, I'm going to be telling you all about my freshman year of college, um, like my first year experience, because I did finish my freshman year already. I took my finals last week, and now I'm completely done, so I'm technically a sophomore in college right now, which is very exciting. And this video is from a commuter's perspective I did not dorm I did commute to school every single day so I did not get the dorm life that college is all about but I still believe I do have some valuable tips and stuff to talk to you guys about so that's what I'm gonna do in this video I go to Point Loma Nazarene University so I'm gonna be telling you 10 different things that I wish I knew before I started college um, these are also like 10 tips and stuff that you guys can take into mind when starting college because I know a lot of people are making their college dishes college decisions right now so I think this is a very important topic to address these tips are not in any way um, in order of importance or anything they're just what came to my mind first so yeah okay so number one professors want to help you out even if it may not seem like it okay point Loma is like a very small school so the like student to teacher ratio in like each class is like average 25 to 1 so they are very small classes much like high school classes um, I went to a small private high school as well so I was very used to small classes so this transition wasn't hard for me at all because that's what I was used to I think it would be a lot harder if I was transferring to a giant college where you have classes in like the gym because your class is so big like 200 people so especially when you are in a small school like Point Loma it's important to know that your professors are like there for you it may not seem like it as much if you go to a bigger school because you are you may feel like you're outnumbered and that like other people have more important questions than you do but that's just not the right mindset to have definitely because your professors are there to help you be successful Successful. And maybe that's not it for every professor. I know some professors, you know, just aren't everyone's favorite and it seems like they just want you to fail but like that's how it is sometimes it'd be like that sometimes sorry I had to do that I just decorated my flask by the way yes remember remember that your teachers are there to help you and they have office hours for a reason going to your teacher's office hours not only helps you like like with specific questions and stuff that you have on homework or tests or like studying or anything but it also gives them the impression that you are um, like dedicated and motivated to getting better at whatever subject it is and that you like yearn for understanding of certain things you know like going to people going to your professor's office hours will help them realize that you really do care and like you care about your work and your learning and through that they will obviously be able to put a name to your face and you won't just be another like student in the class you know number two you're not going to be okay all of the time and this is very important to remember because college isn't easy by any means people talk college up so much that it's like college is like the best four years of your life and everything and when people hear that like in high school that are going to go into college soon they might think that college is going to be like the best thing ever 100% and you're going to be so happy all the time with your friends all the time and that's just not it and that's not just me because I don't live on campus and I'm literally not with my friends all the time but that goes for everybody you have breakdowns you get bad grades you fail tests like that's all part of life and it's important to know that that like shouldn't stop Stop you from being happy because if you go into college expecting that it's gonna be the best thing ever and like the best thing of your life constantly you're gonna be very disappointed because that's just how life is things happen and there's nothing you can really do about it number three going off of kind of what I just said college isn't easy high school personally I'm not speaking for everyone definitely but high school wasn't that hard for me and I went through high school hearing from people in college um, that like college is easier because of the fact that your schedule is so more lenient and stuff like that but that doesn't make it easy by any means your workload increases by twice the amount of work that you had in high school probably you learn things that you didn't like know you had to learn in high school and this especially goes for people that live on campus and that like dorm because you learn how to be an individual you learn how to be an adult and no I didn't get that experience but I think I've 
accomplish it other ways and not just like having to live on my own number four people want to be your friend i personally was scared of starting college because of the fact that i knew one girl that went to my high school that was going to point loma and i'm not a very outgoing person i would say I may come across like I am on camera, but I'm, I don't think I am at all. I get nervous with like meeting new people and stuff like that. I don't know why, I don't know why, but I've always been like that. Like that's how I've been my whole life. I think I've gotten a lot better at it, but meeting people has been hard for me and especially going in knowing that I'm a commuter and that it is a like, 95% residential campus it's crazy to know that I would have to go in and that I would have to like put myself out there even more than other people because I don't live on campus and because I don't get like the like dorm activities that people get in like the dorm groups and the moving in process and stuff like that where you meet people in the process I literally was like I got there I did orientation and then like I didn't get to stay for all the extra stuff like I had to go home and I think that's what was hard for me especially in the beginning is that I was like wow no one's like me and like no one else commutes this is really weird and I don't think anyone wants to be friend of the commuter so this is really hard but that was not the case at all first of all people are so much nicer than you think I don't know if that's only at Point Loma because people at Point Loma are nice other people are thinking the same things that you're thinking in the way that they might be nervous to come up to you and say hi and introduce themselves and stuff like that so you knowing this now that I'm telling you this you should be the first one like go up to someone say hi introduce yourself talk about your majors talk about where you live stuff like that like where you're from and I guarantee you people will want to be your friend and people will want to meet you number six being organized really matters this is just as important as it was in high school and with everything else in your life like being organized is one of the top things that people need in order to be successful in like certain things this includes keeping a planner with all your homework written in it throughout high school i was like i never wrote down my homework like ever i always just like oh yeah i'll memorize it and then i'll just do it when i think about doing homework and like it'll be my brain and it works for me like i never had to write down my homework until college came and I didn't even take that many classes like in high school I took six classes um first semester I took seven but some of them like weren't even really like classes like I never had homework for them and then second semester I took four and one of them was online and ended first quarter so I technically was taking three classes for the majority of the year and even though I was taking three classes my workload was very large and keeping a planner with all my homework in it was the only thing that like kept me sane and being able to write things down and cross them off a list helped me out so much and I think it would help you out too so even if you don't think you need to or like you were like me in high school and you didn't need to write down your homework just try it out like try it out and see if you like it because I didn't think I would enjoy it or it'd be any way beneficial to me and it definitely was number seven this is about your major um don't rush into being declared and declared a major you see I was undeclared I applied undeclared until I felt like I needed to pick a major in order to like graduate on time I don't know why I thought this so literally the week before school started I was on the point website looking through the majors reading descriptions reading class schedules and stuff like that and I was like mm, dietetics I like food I like learning about being healthy and nutrition I'm just gonna declare dietetics as my major because that sounds so fun right wrong I went in um realized how how competitive of a like a major it is and I just wasn't interested in it and once I learned about like career paths and like what I could do with that major I just lost all interest and I was like I don't see myself doing this at all so therefore I ended up switching my major to child development like a couple weeks into college so and that is where I am right now and that's where I'm gonna stay for my whole four years definitely because that's what I truly enjoy learning about so therefore if you feel like you need to pick a major you don't being rushed into picking a major is probably the worst case scenario because you will majority of the time realize that you picked it because you felt like you needed to pick one and not because you actually enjoy it. I'm not saying that goes for everyone because I'm sure people choose majors randomly and then realize they really like them or like learn to love them but that wasn't my case. I definitely recommend taking your GEs like you have to take GE courses anyways so get all your GEs done if you still don't know what you want to do. Take little random classes here and there in certain um, majors and see what you enjoy like that's really the only way you'll learn about what you really enjoy doing is by literally learning and becoming more knowledgeable about certain subjects number eight this kind of goes along with your major um you should definitely get
get to know people in your major department. So Child and Adolescent Development is in the Department of Family and Consumer Sciences and Family and Consumer Sciences also has majors such as Dietetics and Nutrition. I think that's all. Yeah, only those three. So getting to know people that are also in those majors will help you so much because in the beginning you're going to be taking a lot of the same classes together and just knowing people that are in the same major as you and like having those people that you can go to and like they will understand you because like okay if I go to a business major and talk to them about child development and like brain development they're gonna be like I don't care about this probably so getting to know people that love the same things as you do will help you and I'm not telling you like to go and be their best friend and like hang out with them all the time I'm just saying get to know them and have them like in your contacts so you can contact them when you need help from someone that understands you number nine people are gonna yell at me for this already come at me in the comments you really will but you're hearing this from me 8 a.m's are not as bad as people talk about and i watch some of these videos of like what i what i wish i knew before college and people are saying like 8 a.m's aren't like 8 a.m's in high school but honestly i think i can say this very like directly because me being a commuter i have to drive in traffic in the morning literally an hour plus sometimes to my 8 a.m's and when some people who live on campus are the ones complaining that they're taking an 8 a.m i just don't get it maybe it's just easier for me because i i don't know i honestly don't no. First semester I took an 8.30 a.m. and that was chem and it was three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and it honestly wasn't bad. Like I, I prefer early classes because I get them done with earlier in the day. This semester I took a 7.25 a.m. class and it was child and adolescent development and that was two days a week, Tuesday, Thursday and like I, it was fine. It was honestly okay. Like I, yes it was hard to wake up some mornings but like the, having the mindset of I'm getting this class over with now this early in the morning that I have free time later to do other things because odds are if you don't wake up early for a class you're gonna end up sleeping in and probably being even more tired because you slept in and because you got too much sleep if i'm being quite honest so no 8 a.m's are not as horrible as people think they are they're really not and if you disagree i mean you can disagree with me but that's just my opinion i honestly prefer them unless you literally like cannot function in the morning and you need to take later classes like sure but being a commuter i specifically had to like schedule my classes so that i could get home before traffic starts and like didn't have long gaps in between my classes because obviously i didn't dorm like i didn't have a dorm to go back to so yeah but people who live on campus i feel like they would definitely prefer later classes because they because it's convenient for you if you live on campus i get that i'd probably be the same way honestly but since i'm not my best choice was to take early classes and it ended up making me realize that they're not bad at all so Last but, la la blah 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 blah. Last but not least, number 10. It's so easy to skip class, but don't skip class. And this is coming from me who definitely, definitely has skipped class before. So I'm not being hypocritical. I'm not telling you don't do it. It's horrible. Like me, you're so bad if you do it. Because no, I do it too. I've done it. Everybody I know has done it. But like, just don't. I realize the importance of not skipping class. And okay, here's how it goes. Some professors will We'll have um, certain amount of classes you can skip before it starts docking down your grade because attendance is a part of your grade, especially at small colleges like Point Loma. I don't know if it's the same at bigger colleges like state schools and stuff like that but here my professors have like you can skip three classes and then your grade won't change at all or you can skip two classes and stuff like that but that doesn't mean like skip those classes because they're there for you that just means if you absolutely need to you shouldn't feel guilty about it like if you're in bed sick like throwing up don't feel guilty about skipping this class because you have a free skip and it's there for you to use when you need it not when you want to use it when you need it since attendance is literally the easiest grade you could get in your class I don't see why why not take it and just take the A take the hundred percent in attendance and be good with it like I said disclaimer this is not like what I swear by this is just my thoughts about what I should have done throughout my first year besides like what I actually did do overall I just think it's really important to go to class because even if your professors like post their lectures and PowerPoints and stuff online for you to learn they definitely talk about things in class that you won't hear anywhere else and people 
people like your classmates will ask questions that you might have yourself and just hearing like discussion throughout your class is really important like to your own knowledge so that concludes the end of my video i really hope you enjoyed this video and i really hope you've learned something and have gotten some valuable information out of it like i said if you missed it before i go to point loma Azure university and i just finished my freshman year that's that and yes i'm a commuter so this was from a commuter's perspective and yeah if you have any more questions feel free to ask me like dm me on instagram i've literally gotten so many dms from people asking about like my advice on point loma and stuff like that so if you guys want to see a video specifically towards that definitely let me know in the comments and i will do that for you but that was like prior and i know a lot of people already decided on their colleges so that might not be even relevant anymore so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next video bye guys hey feeling good like i should winning the